Over the last couple of years, we've been very intentional about engaging artists to create pieces of work, bodies of work that our people who office in these work environments get to experience. You know, there's a presence that this building has on the street. We wanted to find a world-renowned artist that would cause people to feel something. Willis Tower is really an American icon. It's kind of a, an incredible city unto itself. This is your father's office building, right? Ahead of its time from a design and from a you know, structural perspective, but it was always an office building first and foremost. The urban environment was hostile in those days. We saw buildings as sort of fortresses and something to come to. Also, we had this big separation between work and home. When we became new stewards of this icon for all Chicagoans, we felt it was important to approach it with care. How do we open things up? How do we invite the public in? How do we invite our workers in? How do we really create that energy that makes it more than just a workplace, but really opens it up to the city? We really had the palette at Willis Tower to, to create this, you know, monstrous playground, if you will, for the worker. We added three layers above ground, we added multiple layers below ground, we added a public park, and we added about 300,000 square feet of new retail space that really is going to transform and has transformed this area of the loop and really become kind of a beacon and a new neighborhood that was really never there before. The Olafur piece is really the capstone to the commitment to art at Willis Tower. It's really the culmination of our Art of the Neighborhood program to really complete kind of the cultural give back to the city. When we identified Olafur and that match was made, it really began a multi-year journey together. Maybe I should start by saying, in my artistic practice, I worked with how we humans engage with nature. Olafur has been known for an unbelievable sense of light and color. I've been very interested in, should I say, the, the more ephemeral sides of nature, like ideas like temperature, wind, fire, ice, and, 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 and the weather as such. He was really struck by Lake Michigan and the colors and the range of colors that Lake Michigan went through. Is it possible to kind of create a three-dimensional pattern that would, to some extent, mimic the surface of the water? maybe we would be able to create a wall when you pass it in one direction that would react upon your movement. The colors that you see in this three-dimensional sort of shape of, of the wall, they do in fact change. And there's that built-in story about activity, about movement, about something dynamic, the very same way that I think uh, the lake or water or the weather or nature in, in a city also has this ability to somehow render every moment differently. The installation was, was really a labor of love. And when you get beyond kind of the concept and the visualization of what the artwork will be, then it shifts to this really exacting fabrication and execution process uh, that is, is truly unique. How do we design spaces? What will office spaces of the future look like? And I think they're gonna be curated with experiences that make people feel. And Olafur is a big piece of that. You know, what we've learned over the last 10 months, many people were thrown into these different environments, doing work that they aren't used to performing and without their colleagues alongside them. And I think it's created a, a big mental toll on folks. Once you sort of deprive humanity of its physical connection and its touch, it wants to come out in a fury. And so I'm looking forward to the other side of that because I think it's gonna be ripe with creativity and innovation.
I mean, I hope you're still here, so to speak. I hope you haven't uh, left because I was sort of drifting on the Lake Michigan uh, into the colors and the, and the waves. Uh, but please do not hesitate to look up on, on the various homepages and places where you will be able to find more information about this, should you be interested. Thank you so much.